This is called setting up your spot. Marking your territory. Dogs do this, you know. And it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in front of the folk festival's main stage. Territory is marked and staked through the day as die-hard folk fans maneuver for the best seats in front of the big stage. Yesterday we got here late and we had to sit way in the back and we could barely see. So we've decided to come early today and stake out our spot. Each spot springs like a little country from the grass. Countries with their own flags and symbols that will be easily recognizable to friends and kin who will share the colorful patch of land. It's my dad and my brother, but um, there's two other families sharing this tarp. But even the early can't be sure their territory will be there if their portable patch goes untended through the day. Oh, just someone came and moved their tarp and stuck their they stuff They just here. pulled it halfway up. They just stuck it halfway up so that, and then put their boxes in there. Said they were there at 8 a.m., but at 9 a.m. we were here and there was uh, just empty oh, well. spaces around us, so the there's no way. And justice is swift among the nomads. Squatters are not taken lightly. Well, I was thinking perhaps total nuclear war or, or some complete response, but we would probably discuss it rationally. You know, people encroach a bit in here, just like right there. But like, what are you going to do? And who cares? You know, this one here has got lots of room. We got about 30 people coming, so we're going to be squished as it is. But, hey, we're here to hear the music. That is the one thing that holds all these little countries together. For when the first performer appears and the music begins, the differences and the borders will disappear. Leslie Kramer, CBC News, Winnipeg.